Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, uh, keep fighting that fight. Congratulate yourself. We're almost at the finish line. Even though we've been going through so much hell for the last few years, you know, you deserve to give yourself a big up because I mean you've been you've been taking it like a champ. <laughs> so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love to drop, uh, if you can drop a line to me, you know, getting to know you like you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of content in my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it's heading in a positive direction. Also, if the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are really going through some dark times and need confirmation or val validation towards their life path, you know, their sole purpose, and, you know, if they're on the, the right path, um, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like it, also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video. And today, I'm listening to 396 Hertz. Uh, let go of negative thoughts. Stop. Uh, stop stress and negative negativity as a meditation. And I will post that link in the description box below. Um, and my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Remember while elevating, congratulate yourself. Give yourself the credit that you truly deserve. You do. I mean, there's times we are hard on ourselves because we're, you know, we've been fighting. We've been clearing, you know, clearing slates. Uh, cutting tides, cutting cords, you know, walking away from things that's no longer serving us, um, actually listening to our intuition other than fighting it, um, being able to do that, um, it's been really hard, it's been tedious, I know that, but it's just like, you have to really, really step back and look at where you first started, you know, I know it's hard, like, dag, Rosalind, I ain't got my blessings yet, you know, I see the signs, but yet it's not here. You know, you can see the signs all the time. You know, the angels, creator, source, masses, universe, God, they're, they're going to send you different uh, signs left and right that, you know, things are coming in your life that you truly been working hard for. You know, you wouldn't be going through this much hell if you know you were, you were getting, you weren't going to get anything. You know, Source and all them would not be sitting up here telling you to let go of things, walking away from different people that you know you shouldn't even be hanging with, you know, doing things you shouldn't be uh, doing anymore, you know, going to that next level because the stuff that you used to do is not even resonating with you anymore. Um, you probably just feel disassociated, detached from all those different things. You know, you go through the push and pull factors, so that will happen as well because you're clearing slates and it's not just from this life it's from the other life and the other life and so forth so forth this that and the third you're going through all those different things because it, it's been really hard it's really been really hard and going through all those things trust me i know it can be at times you know you can be happy one minute piss the next and just be bawling your eyes out the next one it's really putting you through emotional roller coasters because you have to remember we have so many different energies that we're just collecting from other people because we're already upgrading and when you get upgrades you're going through these shifts uh getting activated so you're just getting all this different energy and plus you're clearing the stuff from when you you know first stepped on whatever we were at you know all those different things so it's just like you have to be able to congratulate, congratulate, ugh, congratulate yourself and give yourself the credit that you deeply deserve. You really do. Don't be so hard on yourself. You know, even if you're not able to, you know, um, thoughts come up and they still trigger you in a certain way, you know, just allow yourself to go through that motion because you're going through a grieving process process that you are separating from all that trauma you've really been through a lot so don't be hard on yourself saying you know because i tell myself that all the time let it go just let it go you know those things are going to keep coming up but it's it's like something you don't know, push aside or ignore or okay you're dealing with this but then you've seen somebody else that needed 
you know, your help. So you, you dropped your stuff to go pay attention to this, you know, with all these other people instead of like, okay, you helped them, but then you went right back to them and say, okay, what do I got to do to part ways with you? Because I'm tired of seeing you. <laughs> you have to be like that with your old memories. Let it know. I, I don't need you anymore. I don't. You know, this is not resonating with me now. I'm on bigger and better things. I can't keep, you know, going back to this dark place when I got all these big, beautiful things that are heading towards my way. You know, you're climbing that mountaintop to greatness, fusion, fusion, or whatever you want to call it. You know, all these big blessings that you're coming with, but yet that baggage keeps on trying to come back to you. You have to be able to leave that mess right where you stand so you can be able to part ways with it. But congratulations. Congratulate yourself on all the missions you've been on, all the hard duty you've been working hard for. We've been going through this empath, you know, boot camp for a minute, and you deserve that credit. You know, never doubt, doubt yourself, never down yourself for the situations that you're placed in. You know, universe tests you just to see how you're going to be able to function, how are you going to be able to deal, how are you going to respond, how are you going to react. You know, with these things coming in your life, like, okay, I'm going to sit back. You know, teacher always quiet during the test. So you have to really think about that. You know, um, different things that's come in our path to be able to see, are you really ready to go to that next stop? You know, that next level. Because when that next level, when doors open, you know, they're going to bust wide open like it's busting a levee. And all these things are going to come to you that you have been deserving for so long. I mean, when you start seeing all these people around you starting to get stuff, and I know it is hard to deal with things like that when you're seeing all these people getting things that you've been praying so hard for, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to get your stuff. You know, they want you to be able to congratulate, and that's why I tell people, congratulate people that are seeing, you know, that you see getting all these blessings because they worked hard just like you did. You know, they've probably been working at a little bit longer. That's why you haven't seen yours yet. So don't, like I said, never judge never judge somebody else's journey against yours. You have to be able to stay in your own lane because you don't know what they had to do. You don't know how much hell they had to go through, what they had to sacrifice, you know, to get what they had to get. But like I always tell people, congratulate them like you're congratulating yourself on when you are getting it. Because you never want to sit up here and see somebody get something and you get mad and upset because when you do that that means you're, you're severing your blessings and it's gonna push you back a lot further when you were just like this close and just getting mad it's gonna put that big gap right back in and you're gonna be right back at square one again so it's just like you're going through these things for a reason and I have to keep telling myself that you're going through all these situations for a reason and you know it's gonna come up you know it's gonna come crystal clear to you when you start understanding why you had to go through the things you're going through you know and I, like i said basically the things you need to look at yes it's been hard as hell but it's teaching you patience you know um you see that you could have been broke like this and this and that and then all of a sudden something blessed you and came through even if it might have been a little bit you know you always seem to make it that's going to let you see that there's faith out there. You know, some people, you know, I've been like that, like going through things and, you know, everybody was like, you know, God has your back. I said, where was God when my family was abusing me? <laughs> where was God at when this happened? Yeah, that's a sad situation to go through, but you had to be tested in the worst kind of ways because the things that you're going to have to let people know that you went through and you made it thus far, they're going to be looking at the like, the heck, you know, if they got through this, you know, we're starting a new evolution of empaths. So, yes, we're going to have to be that storyteller, that messenger and be able to tell people, yes, I've been through hell, high water, back and forth, back and forth to the point. I got frequent fire miles there, Fre frequent flyer miles on spiritual awakenings. You won't have to let people know how you're doing it because it's just like you're going to be a teacher and a student is at the same time. You're learning different things. You're, you're parting ways with so much stuff. You're learning new things about yourself and around your surroundings every day. So these are all the things that we have to be able to go through. And you see in how far you have came. Be proud of yourself. Because you are not the same person that started this situation. You know, when I look at mine, it usually, with me, it wouldn't take much for somebody to make me mad. Now it's just like you got to keep poking and poking and poking and poking and poking. And I'm like, either I'm going to walk off <clears throat> or I'm going to cuss you out, you know. But it had to be that whole point where you kept going. Usually it only took you that one time and I start snapping. And they were like, nope, she ain't ready. 
nope she ain't ready and sometimes i just don't even respond to you just because the fact is i already know you're trying to do that just to poke at me to see if i'm gonna poke back you know, you don't pose to sit up here and poke no bear, especially if a bear ain't ate all. You know, it's been hibernation. Don't come, you know, don't bring the beast out. So it's just, you know, when I look at things and I see how I'm constantly being tested, see, you know, when something gets taken away from me, am I going to still be grateful for the little things I got or I'm going to be fussing about this little situation I can't change? When you start noticing the change within yourself, your attitude, how you see things, how you're grateful towards source about the little things that's been placed in your life. When you start being grateful for all that show of gratitude with that great attitude, it brings in more blessings that way. Because when you start being blessed just for a peace of mind, having a roof over your head, having a car to get you back and forth, it might not be a brand new car, but it's a car to get you back and forth. You might not have the best house, but you got a roof over your head. You, you know, you might not have all the food that you, you know, you would love to eat the fancy gourmets, but you got something to put in your stomach. You're able to supply things for your children and your loved ones. It might not be that much, but you have to be grateful for every little thing you get because it could be a lot worse. There's so many people up under here living under bridges, probably burning the heck up because it's almost summertime. People don't have a job, you know, trying to figure out how they're going to get their, their next meal. You have to be very grateful for everything that's been placed in your life because it can be a lot worse than it, you know, than you actually went through. You know, I look at things, you know, I cry and complain, you know, oh my God, I went through this and this and this and that. Try not to give myself a pity party because there's times I've done that, but I made sure I did that towards myself. When I first started, I would talk to anybody that would listen to me. And it's just like, girl, they going through their own stuff. They ain't got time to deal with your stuff and theirs too, you know? So it's just like when I see it now, you know, even when I'm having my darkest days, my saddest days, I try to lift people up at that time, you know, give them that hope. You know, there's times I have to give myself that pep talk like you're going to be OK. You know, you had to go through this. It's just trial and error. It ain't going to be this too long, too much longer. You're going to have to go through this. You know, you can't explain everything that comes into your life, but you can see the purpose behind it at times. You may, you may not know why this had to happen but then when you start seeing you know all the things that has been placed upon you and you see that you don't got wiser you don't got stronger your faith is a lot stronger you're starting to see crystal clear on things being grateful for everything you this being connected to you and you're being connected to it and you know those are the things you need to uh, be able to you know notice this in your life you know they're sending you signs and synchronicities every single day every single day you know when you're able to upgrade on certain things you weren't able to upgrade before give them praises <laughs> you got to make sure you give them praises you know even if it's a little thing you, you could get me uh could be you know stressed the heck out <laughs> and you got a whole bunch you you're doing so much stuff for your kids and next thing you know like a, a good friend of yours or even a relative say hey you know let me take the kids off your hands so you can get a break that's God helping you right there. <laughs> Even if it's like two days, you might be broke, but you know, you can sit in your house, you can walk around naked if you want to. You ain't got to worry about nothing. And those are little things you, you know, the little things that you need to be blessed about because it can be a lot worse. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope you have a blessed, safe day. You know, it's hump day. So going through all these different things, almost the week is almost over with. You know, I didn't think I was going to make any videos today, but I said, what, why not? You know, I cleaned up my house and did everything and, you know, cooked already my dinner. So I'm shoot. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so I hope that y'all have a blessed, safe day. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know how you um how you're feeling about that. And I would like to give a shout out to Lisa Williams, uh, Jab Toys. Uh, let me see. Sam I Sam, I am Holmes. Much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. I know you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for better days for you. So as much love, uh, love, light, and positivity as you possibly can, and I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.